good day to you. We bring you the word and the vision from the Lord. And this Sunday we felt very grateful. We felt the Father's presence coming into the house. It was a very stabilizing, awesome presence of his greatness. We found the worship, intercession, message. It was all so easy. It was, it needed very little effort because the Father was there to facilitate everything with his presence. So we realize when his presence grows, our reverence also need to grow. If not, he does not increase in our midst. And if he's dishonored, he will completely withdraw. So presence is directly proportionate to reverence. More reverence, more of him we will have. This is what we felt. We got great encouragement. I find yesterday, today also, this Father's presence hovering, brooding, reflecting, taking us to eternal quality, heavenly quality. And it, you get a great sense of stability, comfort, the Father's bosom. It's really wonderful. But we also know Hebrews 12, 28 is true. Uh, knowing that, we have received an unshakable kingdom. It is sad to see that so many Christians are still involved so much on the shakable kingdom. And we are praying these days there are Legions as well as energies will shift to the unshakable kingdom. They'll be more involved in the work of the Lord, eternal work of the Lord, that all our conversations will be God glorifying, spirit edifying, and soul saving. Shall we say together, God glorifying, spirit edifying, and soul saving. We have to be conscious of eternal realities. This is the time we have come into and the Father's good pleasure will dwell on everything we do. It was a great relief, and I still feel that relief of Father coming through and saying, I'm with you, this is my house, and it is a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord. May every Christian get this thing into their heart. It's a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord. Never miss out on Sunday worship. It's a time of trumpets. What does Ukraine say? What happened for two years was, that the global planners, the global elite, designed the whole process of making the virus and managing economies, health laws all over the world. Shut down, locked down at will, making nations weak. And we know who make, makes nation weak. So while global elite plan and brought us to 22, 2022, the national strongmen like Putin, who were taken for a ride, and who were watching on the side this massive fake science epidemic, they waited and said, this is what I do. They had time to take my corner. They had time to express my strength, and he has done it. So it, the battle between the global elite planning globalization and national strongmen planning their kingdom is now on, which will march to Armageddon. How nations get caught in this, scriptures have clearly said it. So we need to know that, to look up, our redemption is drawing near, Luke 21, 28. But know that the time, this is how the war came about. The global elite planned a kind of war it was, big, making fake health laws, nations impoverished, uh, national governments weakened, economies weakened. Now the national strongman, in Russia has reacted with his own war. He, he probably thought, I will not allow any global elite to run the show. Let me do it, tragic as it is. So we are praying that the Father would look upon the nation of Ukraine. And we are praying that young Russian soldiers who are being uh, taken captive or who are losing the way, that Ukrainians will be very kind to them, show the love of God, because the world is no more socialist red and capitalist blue. It's all a matter of global oligarchs versus national oligarchs. That's how it is going. It's all an economic war for which people are armed to the teeth also. Uh, so this is where it has, it, the world has gone without God. But the good shepherd does not abandon his world. And we know we are his redemptive instrument, the church, every believer, living their call to the full to redeem the nation. And our mandate is to eject every illegal scotter out of our finances, personally, out of our health, out of our wealth, out of our 
agriculture, all national resources to bloom, blossom, produce in Jesus' name. So we need a long list of uh, illegal uh, squatters that have come into our family line, onto our health, our family, and then into our nation. And we first start with our personal redemption and restoration and transformation. And then we are able to take on the nation for its, its good. We extend our transformation to take the nation. And we want to take care that, as Luke 18 says, that we don't enter an adversarial court with a judge, with an adversary, feeling like the widow, poor and neglected. No. We want to be the mediators. We want to be those who cry out to the Lord and, and enforce God's justice, enforce God's mercy, that we will pray, save us, O Lord, we beseech you, send us prosperity. This is our psalm, Psalm 118. Uh, and, God, Father, and never miss your Sunday. We feel it's like the trumpet sounding. Get ready, get ready. And it's the Lord's day coming nearer. So Hebrews 10 has this context, the, the Lord's day coming nearer. And it is good to read Hebrews 10 again and again till we grasp the times that we are in. <clears throat> so I have given a little description of the Father's pleasure that came to us. May you have the same. And also the context of the Ukraine war. And then reminding ourselves, trumpets sounding, and the Lord is calling his people. Hebrews 10, 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you are the, you see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice to sin. So don't forget the assembly. 37, Hebrews 10, 37. For yet a little while, and he who is coming will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who draw back to perdition, but of those who believe in the saving of the soul. So let us be ready. Our redemption draws near. God bless you. The Lord keep you.